Hey, it's me. Welcome to my channel. I am just on my way to breakfast, but afterwards we are going on a road trip from Accra all the way up to the Volta region. I will show you it on the map. Um, we're going to go through the Adomi Bridge as well, which I'm very excited about. I remember seeing it as a kid and it was very, very exciting. So yeah, hope you enjoy my vlog of day four. So we had breakfast together as normal and then we hit the road. So as we head out of Accra, you see a glimpse of a green building. We will get a lot closer to it in just a moment, but it's called Bellagio and it's got various luxury apartments, but also luxury restaurants, bars and cafes. The tunnel we're going through has a graffiti of the Ghana flag, which I love. It's a few other bits of graffiti as well. The next one simply just says Accra, nice and simple. And the third one that comes up is broken English. So it says we day, which is basically like saying we're here. So if somebody asks you how you are, you basically say we day, we're here, we're cool, we're fine. So my sister has researched three restaurants in Villaggio that she wants us to visit. They are super fancy. We need to dress up and be on point and things like that. Anybody that knows me knows that that is just a massive headache for me. I'm more of a caught chicken and two sides type person. Do you know what? Go to McDonald's and get me the wrap of the day for one ninety nine, and I am happy. But um, I would like to go for the experience, so I hope we get to go by the end of the trip. So our road trip continues. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to the Volta region. More specifically, my dad's village of Botuku. It doesn't actually show on Apple Maps, so I've put in the nearest and largest town in the area, which is Kwando. My dad is so proud to be from this tiny little town or village that no one's ever heard of, that he made us all change our Facebook hometowns when I was like 14. It was the funniest thing. But yeah, the map says two hours but it's actually between four and five because of how bad the roads are very very long trip so we stopped in Accra mall and shop right for a few bits for the trip it's the first time i've seen a supermarket like that in ghana so i was excited this is the first time i've seen a mac shop stand alone like that maybe it's just me i barely leave my house except to go to work so if you've ever seen one leave a comment it's kind of like seeing a maybelline or a l'oreal shop it's not really a thing everyone in my family is obsessed with mac though so that was exciting i didn't get a chance to get pictures of all the african print shops that i saw but there were quite a few there was one called kiki clothing which i loved but i had to take sneaky photos because i wasn't allowed to take pictures in the mall which i'd get if i was in the pentagon or something but I took really sneaky photos. This one, I think, is called Wooden. It was like Louis Vuitton, but for African print, which is just a gorgeous. So our road trip continued towards the Volta region. We are in Atimpoku in the eastern region. This is where the eastern region ends and the Volta region begins. In just a moment we will see the Adomi bridge which goes over the Lake Volta um, so we will soon be crossing over into the Volta region. Before that though my uncle made a pit stop at this gorgeous restaurant. I will ask him what it was called I can't quite remember but it was right by the water. You can see the bridge there are loads of nice plays for some photos. We took countless photos the whole place is just stunning and the food was nice it was a bit expensive but not in if you convert it into pounds if that makes sense but yeah gorgeous stunning so we then headed towards the volta region which is where my dad's village is the state of the road you can see even though we're stuck behind a truck i would consider this road as good because the roads are truly shocking it took us about six hours to get from Accra to my dad's village we did have a few pit stops but the map said about two and a half to three hours because the roads are literally terrible unless you drive a four by four you will lose a tire either by puncturing it or it's flying off the car like the roads are bad 
Although in some areas in the village, the roads are really, really good. And it's all to do with the politics. I don't quite understand. I don't know nearly enough about the politics to explain. But the roads are horrible depending on where you are and where the politicians are from. So we finally arrived in my dad's village. This is my granddad's house. A lot of my dad's side of the family was there so we didn't stay for too long. We just greeted everybody, had a drink or so and then we were taken to where we would be staying. It was my cousin's house, not far from my granddad's house, about five minutes or so and that was it. I will show you what it looks like in the morning. It is absolutely beautiful.